Okay. Good afternoon. This is the presentation of not just another contact tracing app by EnduringNet. I am Dr. Se Huang Poon. By July this year, 15 and a half thousand people have died in care homes. 745 cases per 100,000 were recorded among Manchester University students in September. Venues are under severe pressure to keep register in a COVID safe manner and there's a constant resistance to track and trace due to privacy violations. So how does our app work? Imagine there's a student attending a lecture. He scans the QR code at the entrance. The lecturer receives a check-in signal and the head counts on her phone. She closes the registration and emails a copy of the attendance to herself. If anyone in the class is tested positive afterwards, alerts and warnings will be sent automatically to the lecturer and all the other students. Our app is like a WhatsApp check-in book using internet connection signal to track groups with high transmission risk. It involves minimum administration with automatic messaging. It is COVID safe from a touching point of view. Personal information is not used and all the records can be deleted by clearing the cache. It scales extremely fast with very little overhead. Our app has a lot of advantages for not using Bluetooth. It focuses on groups instead of individuals. It can be used even if someone does not have a smartphone, forget to bring one, runs out of battery or when the, bat or the Bluetooth signal is blocked. It has a low false negative by design. It is decentralized. Information is held locally by the local management. It avoids massive data overload and data loss. Here are some examples of the screenshots and the link to our videos. Our team covers all the key disciplines and we are in partnership with major organizations. We are now ready for trial at Manchester University and one large care home. We are testing the system in a small town in Oregon, USA, after which we plan to extend the trial to 40 care homes and two universities. We are also testing our biometric COVID passport with a few care homes, and we are in discussions about an air bridge between Heathrow and Singapore. Other applications include security, supply chains, conference and events, and car dealerships. The list is endless. Why we need 50,000 pounds? About 10,000 is for software engineers, 17,000 each for enrollment and a 24 seven help desk, plus some disability design to support users with dyslexia, reading impairment and other types of disability. Please help us launch, not just another contact tracing app. Thank you.